Hello, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Wow. Uh, hello out there to my fellow mate drinking friends. Uh, this is Frank again, doing another uh, Sherba Mate, or Yerba Mate, Erba Mach, technically, video. Today, it's very snowy outside. Um, technically, actually, it's not snowing today, but there is plenty of snow still on the ground because it's only in the 20s. And uh, last couple of days it snowed off and on most of the day, and today it's still very cold and windy. So, been staying inside, keeping warm, drinking mate. Salud. And uh, today's I'm going to be doing a review on um, the Meta Mate. Got a sample from. Uh, Project Mate Bar down in Florida. They were kind enough to send me this uh, 3.5 ounce bag. Uh, I guess they said it was about 100 grams um, of Erva Mach. And I call it Erva Mach even though uh, they sell it as Yerba Mate. Um, it's the same plant, just pronounced differently, and uh, usually called Erva Mach in uh, Brazil, where they speak primarily Portuguese and Argentina and those other countries they call it Sherba Mate or if they, they might have different pronunciations in it in different countries but Argentina generally pronounced Sherba Mate even though it's uh, spelled with a Y so other Spanish speakers might say Yerba moving on from the pronunciation in different types of Mate uh, the one I'm reviewing that they sent me as you saw from the package is a fine cut which Technically, actually looks a lot like a Eva Mach um, from Brazil. It's very, very powdery. It's mostly powder. Uh, you kind of maybe see there in the camera. Doesn't focus real well when I get up too close. But uh, it's sort of a bright green, not super bright. Uh, the mate on the uh, on my left, maybe your right, is uh, a little. Um, darker since it's been wet already with some water and I've only had a couple of small gourds so far from this um, before making this one gourd I had only tried a little bit with the French press I uh, made about a cup maybe a cup and a half in a small French press that I have I actually gave to my dad recently so he can make some mate with the French press uh, if he likes uh, um, that's a different story but uh, this one is sort of a darker green. Um, you could probably see a little better here. Let me get in this bowl. Uh, you can probably see there on the top of the pile there's a, a monster palo, as Dave Monte likes to call him. It's a very large stick or twig. Right there you can see how it's pretty large. Um, there's some of those some of those large pieces in there and some smaller pieces and this is actually the bottom of the bag and there's actually a large piece of the leaf still in there um, which is kind of interesting I'm sure I could just crush that up and and drink that as well along with the rest of this mate there might be enough enough here for another small gourd um, it probably won't fill up this gourd about halfway, which is like the, how I usually use this gourd, is I'll usually fill it up halfway. And for me, uh, this ceramic gourd that my friend gave me um, actually is just a mug, but I use it as a gourd. Uh, it works really well for me if I'm the only one drinking Erva Mach I've found. Um, the only other Erva Mach I've tried is the uh, Zimango, and I did, did a, another video on this stuff. Um, this is another package that I opened recently. I really like this stuff. Um, and you can see a comparison between the Metamate. There's the Metamate and there's the Jimango. You could tell right off the bat that the Metamate is quite a bit darker and there's fewer palos and some of them are very big and some of them are very small. Whereas the size of the palos are more consistent in the Zimango. Uh, now, to go over the differences between these two, these are the only two very powdery erva matches I've tried, but they're very different from one another. 
First off, the Jimango is a mass-produced uh, version uh, sold mostly in Brazil, but also exported to the States and probably other countries. Um, this is the traditional version. They have other ones available that I have not tried, but this is probably their most popular and most widely available version. And um, it's pretty clean tasting. It's not real smoky, kind of grassy tasting. It has a real nice scent to it. I like it a lot. I'm not big on the really smoky or ashy flavored mates out there. Now the Meta Mate, on the other hand, um, it says right on the package there, um, fresh and harvested directly from primeval forests deep in the south of Brazil. Our small, small scale traditional production is based on knowledge from the Guarani tribe. A Guarani tribe. By using leaves from trees that grow in the wild, smoked with mate wood, and pounded using a water powered wooden machine, proudly our completely sustainable production not dependent on any electricity. Metamate is not certified organic, but does meet the required standards for bio, fair trade, and goes far beyond. So, um, as obviously stated there, it's not officially certified organic, but uh, their practices are organic practices uh, or bio, whatever that means. I don't know if that's a regional uh, certification in Brazil for uh, organic, quote unquote, organic uh, foods and uh, beverage uh, plants and whatnot. Um, but fair trade should be well aware of what that is. If not, there's other information out there on fair trade. Basically, they treat the workers fairly and pay them well, relatively well, compared to non-fair trade workers. Um, you know, provide them with health care assistance and things like that. So anyway, um, it's been seven minutes already, and I haven't really gotten much to the actual mate itself, uh, which I will go ahead and do. So a little bit more info on how I'm trying this out. This is a ceramic gourd, so there's no flavor from the gourd itself. I'm um, using a stainless steel bombisha. Uh, it's fairly fine holes in it. Um, and my water temperature here in my thermos is about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, sorry, I don't know off the bat what that is in Celsius. And for sake of time savings, I'm not going to look it up. You can figure it out yourself. 165 degrees Celsius. I actually measured it for the sake of this review. Now I did send them an email back and forth and uh, they were kind enough to send me this um, sample uh, free of charge um, in order to give it a try and I told them I would do a review of it so here's the review. Uh, but I had some questions for them and uh, they said the smoky flavor is due to the traditional roasting process. So yes this has been roasted in a manner of speaking. It's smoked using sustainable wood from trees that grow in the forest where yerba mate is harvested. Um, have a completely different taste than anything else you have ever tried because our process uses no industrial machinery in production. From the harvest to the drying and roasting, our method is 100% sustainable and the closest you will get to the ancient indigenous Guarani method. It's also the freshest, of, freshest available according to Project Mate Bar freshest available in the US. Um, industrial packaged yerba is stored in warehouses uh, at least six months, sometimes even up to 18 months. Uh, I don't know if that's the case with all um, matis including erva matches um, like shimango, but um, it looks pretty fresh and it's vacuum sealed, um, but um, this uh, Metamate, this particular bag says it was harvested in February of 2013, so it is really fresh and it says to keep refrigerated. Uh, they have a grandma's traditional recipe on here, it says um, over a half teaspoon of metamate, pour one liter, 34 ounces of hot water, steep for at least 10 minutes, sir, strain and serve hot or cold. Now that's probably a good method for brewing metamate. Um, for a few reasons, at least this blend, the very fine cut. First off, it is quite pricey, uh, probably in due in large part to the organic practices, fair trade, and small scale production. Uh, not 
to mention, of course, their traditional method of production itself using no electricity. Um, so if you want to buy some of this, it's it's pretty good mate. It's just very smoky or roasted tasting, kind of like uh, I would describe it as maybe like a roasted meat, roasted like or smoked like bacon almost flavor, but it's not meat because obviously there's no meat involved, but it has that sort of smoky smokiness to it. It's quite pleasant if you like smoked foods like smoked meat or maybe like uh, dried uh, beef jerky or other types of jerky that have been smoked for a fair period of time. That's kind of the same sort of taste it has to it, but it still has that sort of grassy undertone flavor that mate has. So in a way it's sort of like the shimango, but just very smoky and very rich in flavor. So since it does qu cost quite a bit of money relative to other mates, um, you might want to go ahead and go with that uh, traditional recipe uh, suggestion that they have on their packaging um, to make it last longer. And of course that means you won't be drinking it traditionally, which you can also do if you want. I mean, nothing tells you not to, and that's the way it's traditionally done. But um, if I were to purchase some more of this, and I'm very well might, it's good stuff, but I, it wouldn't be my go-to everyday mate, uh, personally. If I were to drink this, purchase some, I would probably use a French press or a tea strainer or something to make the mate and steep it for 5 to 10 minutes um, and drink it you know, that way out of just a mug or whatever because it is fairly pricey compared to other mates, but it's not bad, so. Yeah, pretty good. So, the video is almost, well, it's over 12 minutes now. Pretty good. And the thing is, um, this bombisha that I'm using, I don't know, if, I think I showed it in a previous video. Um, this one is all stainless steel. Um, it's a Simonaggio, I don't know if that's pronounced right, um, brand bombisha. And uh, this one is a little longer and a little thicker than some of the other ones, or pretty much most of the other ones that uh, I have and probably bigger than most of the Argentinian and other regional bombichos because you could use this bombicha with some of the bigger um, uh, gourds out there kinda like the uh, or the kuas kinda like this one that I made myself um, from a dried gourd you can see how how much bigger that is and this thing actually holds a lot of mate um, so I don't use it that often I've used it a few times but it's kind of an all-day gourd. If you're going dr to be drinking all day and don't want to swap out mate all the time, this would probably be a good size to use. Or if you're sharing with friends and going to be drinking two or three liters, this is probably a good gourd to use. It doesn't have a stand. Uh, I may be making one or finding one um, just to kind of set on it because it won't stand on it on its own unless you set it in a cup or some other round thing to sit upright. So there's the caveat with that of making your own, is you have to make your own stand also. Unless you make one like the uh, other traditional type that kind of sits on its own because it has a semi-flat bottom. Um, but this one has fairly fine holes in it. I'm not going to take it out because, um, you know, that would mess up my setup down there in the mate. And so um, it filters out the very fine powdery mate fairly well and um, there still is some powder that comes through the bombisha when you drink from it um, especially at the beginning of your run um, but I have found uh, from experience and from talking to other people that have drank erba match that it helps to pour in the cold water just about up to the rim and then let it sit for five to ten minutes at, you know, it's probably a pretty good range. So it'll sit for five, ten minutes and just soak up that water on its own um, before putting the bombisha in and what have you. Um, 
Other methods are available on the internet where you pour in the water first, then put your bombisha, then pour in the mate or whatever. I haven't experimented a lot. That may be a good way to go too. Uh, might want to give that a try. It's uh, another suggestion. Something else I've found that does help that I actually saw on videos on YouTube is um, this is a metal skewer that you could purchase from probably most stores that sell, you know, kitchen food items or whatever. Um, this one is stainless steel, uh, won't rust, at least, I don't know, I haven't left it in water or left it wet, so I don't know, it may very well rust, but um, it's you could use, you know, a, a straight cane rod or, I don't know, some other kind of straw that isn't hollow, preferably, and just kind of once you start using the mate up, you kind of start poking some holes in it and that kind of thing. Uh, not directly necessarily around where the bombisha is, because that might start to clog up the bombisha. But um, it helps to kind of get that water to seep into the, uh, the, the mate a little better, so you use up most of that mate. Um, if you don't do that method, when you empty out your gourd, you're going to find there's a large portion of the mate that's still dry. So it's like you're wasting a lot of mate by not utilizing all that dry mate over on the other side. Um, there were there are videos on the net where people will, you know, prepare it very differently in the gourd, and then they'll like poke a hole down straight through the middle, and that will be their water hole. Um, there are different ways of doing it, and whatever works best for you, um, it takes some experimentation and, and some patience. Um, more patience, I would say, than uh, just drinking the other regional styles from Argentina, uh, Paraguay, and to some extent Uruguay. Although Uruguay, I think they usually uh, have the gaucho style, as Dave Monte has termed it, which are not as powdery as this, but still fairly fine cut, like Canarias is a real popular one. Um, it's grown in Brazil, but it's really popular in Uruguay, I believe. Um, so that's the review, more or less. The video's almost 17 and a half minutes, which is about standard for my review videos. So um, I'm just going to enjoy my Erva Match here. Um, I do recommend it, but it is fairly high priced. Um, it is very smoky, so if you're a averse to that smoky flavor, uh, I wouldn't call it ashy, just smoky. Uh, if you're averse to that flavor, may not be your thing. If you could deal with it, give it a try. It's worth it. And they do have sustainable practices. Um, Project Mate Bar or Meta Mate, with their no electric, no electricity means of production, and all that. They're good people, so I recommend it. If you have any questions, please leave me some comments down in the section, or uh, check me out on Facebook, Google Plus. Uh, the links for those pages um, are in my YouTube profile, so give that a check out. Uh, salud. Keep on drinking. Love one another. Be peaceful. Later.